D2DNY Real World HVAC Simplified and now in this video I'm going to be showing you how to check how to check and alter or change the address on this year PCO3 controller so the PCO controllers are if you are pro you will know that these are installed these are by Cariel Carel Carel not Cariel Carel it's by Carel and they are installed in a variety of things in this case this is in an RT RT chiller RT chiller or chill RT chill RT chill chiller right so the problem I have here with this chiller is that um, this year master PCO3 Carell controller was replaced this one is from the slave number two and also slave number one was replaced as well as you can see from uh, here is the factory the old one that came out of the um, I don't know where it came from but you know it's, it's broken I think this was the master and that one came from either slave one or slave two and then that one came from either slave one or slave two I don't know but all I know is that on my controller up here I wasn't able to read when I scrolled down to look look at all my slaves I was only seeing slave four no matter what I do so which means that there was some conflict of address so I'm going to show you in this video how to check the address you know in this particular chiller with this particular setup is RT chill and how you to check check and modify or change the addresses make sure and show that they are right so the way it's supposed to be the master supposed to be number one and then slave number one should be address number two and then slave number two should be address number three and so on and so forth so right now this one here I, I, I unplugged it and it came from slave slave number two right yeah, slave number one right there and this one is slave number two and it came right here so I just plucked it out because you know you'll need to ha use this keypad and the wire wasn't long enough so I figure I just bring it over here and uh, you know plug the power up to it and you know have the cables everything right here as opposed to uninstalling that you know it's easier to just make them plug these connections right here is you know one two three and do it like that so let's get into it wow it's like three minutes already into the video <laughs> nonetheless real world real hvac simplified let's get into it so the first thing you're going to want to do you're going to want to change the display address to zero and you do that by pressing down the up, down, and the enter key simultaneously. Now it's gonna be a little bit of a chat. Let me, let me close this door, because I'm holding the camera with one hand. So we're gonna press D simultaneously. Press and hold it. Hold it, here you go. When you see that screen pops up, then you press enter, and you change this to zero. It's gonna press up, that's zero. And press enter, display changed. Now, what you want to do is reboot. Reboot. So I'm just going to do this cycle the power to this thing right here. Shut the power down. Put the power back on. Or you could just unplug the power here. I just didn't do that because I only have one hand. One hand today. Okay. All right, so now. While it's powering up, you, ah, you, oh, I missed it. Let's do it again. I missed it. Okay, so off. Okay, so while powering up, you have to hold up an alarm simultaneously. And this is going to get you in to the controller. All right, keep holding it. All right. So you see the PLAN or the plan address and this particular controller is three. 
which is what it's supposed to be because three, address number three, is for slave number two. Because we, we, we actually skip one number behind, or we are one number behind, because, you know, one goes to the master, and two goes to slave one, and, 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 and three goes to slave two, and, 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 uh, and four goes to slave three, and, 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 um, and, and, you know, so on and so forth. You go down the line like that, okay? So that's pretty much how you do that. Now, when you're in it, uh, let me go, let me do it once again. Pour it down, pour it back on. I'm gonna go ahead. It's gonna be a quick, short little video right here. Okay. So while it's pouring up, remember I told you, just pressed these two. Okay, so right there, you can always change that if you like. See? Two. Let me zoom all the way out. Two. One. Zero. Whatever, whatever you want. So I'm gonna leave this at three. Come on. Three. Press enter. Okay. All right, so that's pretty much it. And then once you're done, uh, I don't know if you have to recycle power. Let me try that. Let me just see if I, if I just do this. You know what? I'm gonna recycle power, uh, just to be safe here. I don't want any problems. Recycle power. I don't think you have to recycle power, but I'm just gonna recycle power. So power we recycled, and then I'm gonna go ahead and change my display address back. Okay, so I'm at zero. I'm gonna change that to 32. Oh, you're gonna press enter first. My bad. It's gonna go down so it'll go faster. 32. 32. Enter. And so we are good. Let's wait for it. So now we are reading slave two. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna go plug everything back in. You know, put everything back the way it's supposed to be, all right. And um, yeah, I, you know, I'll, I'll, I, that's pretty much it, guys. You know, I just want to do this quick little video for you. You know, if you're in the field working on a RT, Arc, Arcti, Arcti Chill, <laughs> Arcti Chill Chiller, and you're running into some issues where you're not able to see all your slaves or all your modules, master. Slave one, slave two, slave three. If you gotta replace one of these PCO3 controllers, well, this is how you check your address. This is how you change your address, okay? Like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. The video's uploaded on a weekly basis.